The moon pools were just added to Rust, giving players a new level of stealth when contesting the oil rig. But what seems like a safe entrance is actually a death trap for any unprepared diver. So today, I'm building a base beside oil where I'll be taking advantage of the new entrance to get super rich without ever leaving the water. And the best part is, you only need a diving set and a special item from the tier 1 tech tree, so getting a base and a workbench is my first goal of the day. Dude, there is so many boats at oil rig, it's insane. Scrappy leaving. Why are you griefing me, bro? I'm just a salt though. I needed that dive attack, bro, so bad. I'm getting shot from behind. Spear going on us. Guy in, guy in. Got Tommy. Look at me. Just see Buddy swimming by every now and again. <laughs> yeah, I just see him, dude. <laughs> Man, we're never gonna be able to leave. Oh no, we're here now. He's in, he's in. Yep. When the coast was clear, we left the danger of the moon pool and began swimming to the safe zone. On the way, we seen this awesome rock formation in between fishing village and oil rig, and we knew this was the perfect spot to set up a base. We got, we got, we bother materials to come back out and build here. Yeah, I'm down. Let me put a marker. Oh, can I build this close to cargo's pathing? Is that a thing? Damn, dude, we can't build here. What about this one? Might be cool too. This, let's see if we can build on this one. Unfortunately, we were unable to build on the rock formation, so we moved a little further away to a spot we wouldn't be destroyed by cargo. The spot we settled on was in between another water base and a massive team base, so at least for now, we were going to have to be a little careful. This might be even the best base ever, dude. It might be, bro. It might be. Guys swimming. Quiet. Almost immediately after setting up, there was already people swimming around our base. But who they are and what they wanted is something we'd be finding out a little bit later. We did a few farming runs to get enough scrap for a tier 1 so I could research spear guns and ammo, and then it was time to begin our adventure. A submarine's turned on, bro. Get him, get him! He jumped out! Hit him once, he's got a Tommy gun. Hit him again. You're fucked, bud. Fuck, he got up. He got, got up there. Suck, bud. I'm the best dodger in A, bro. Didn't dodge that, pussy. That's fine, I don't need to. He's dead, dude. Hit that guy in the head. Pump beyond him. Oh, he only had a GL on, he didn't have much else. Another guy swimming on me, I hit him once. And again, he's gone. Dude, I can't stay on the boat. Fuck you. Oh, that was great. I got three more diving tanks on me, dude. And four more sets of flippers. Our first trip turned out super well, but this was just the beginning of the war that was about to take place right underneath of oil rig. Dude, I found a fucking AK, bro. Who's out here grubbing, grubbing, dude? Like real grubs. Another guy? Uh, this is a dead guy. Tommy gun, spear gun. Ooh, MP5 loaded body. Dude, come to me. I can't grab everything. Oh, here we go. Two diving guys. Hit him hit one once. Hit him again. Headshot. If you have room, there's more stuff over here, and I say we get out of here. I'm, like, rich. Yeah, right here. Hit him once. Southeast. Hit him again. Hit him again. He's gone. Bass going down. I'm going for the bass. Oh, yo, you guys are actually so weird. We didn't get anything for scrap there, though. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just all guns and kits. After a few runs to Fishing Village, we had enough metal to upgrade our base to a 2x2, giving us much more loot room and protection. The goal at this point was to see just how long we could sustain our white by farming players underneath of oil rig, but in a game like Rust, obtaining loot is only part of the battle, and keeping that loot safe is a whole different challenge. Oh, I found an MP5. 
Front door of his base looks open. Yeah, look at this found, dude. These are all wooden. <laughs> dude, yeah, literally, like, he has one. Dude, there's, he has twig right here. He has twig. Do you want to break this and see what happens? I broke this one twig thing he had and took out so many of his supporting walls, dude. Dude, his base is open. There's a is it? get in his base. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. AKs, rocket launches. Dude, three rockets, three C4. Even have an armor door for the front of our base now, dude. Dude, 50 pipes, 22 tech trash, 10 rifle bodies, the AKs. Check that C5 on that bitch, and then we're gonna dive off like Navy SEALs. Oh, it's Cam the man! It, dude, it's Cam's base! No way! No way! It's fucking Cam! The loot we got was pretty insane, especially since it was basically free to raid. The best dodger on Rust couldn't quite dodge that one. But for us, our wipe was just beginning. The population was still high, players were still running oil rigs, and things He's were dead. just getting better and better. A little MP5 kit right there. I'm on that. Wait, I see him there now. That shot him. He's gone. He's juiced. Dude, this sucks because I'm full now, but I'm not satisfied. I want to stay and keep shooting. Found a spaz. Oh, AK on the ground here. Hell yeah. Well, I found an AK. See one guy? And him once. He bled out from that. Dude, he's loaded. He is fucking loaded. I'm getting out of here, bro. Uh, 692 scrap on him. <laughs> Got a blast. <laughs> Gotta go. Another guy swimming. Uh, 320 for me. He's in between me and you. Hit him headshot. Hit him again. He's in the water now. There you go. There's so many. Go pulling up. Nade, watch out, Nade. Then headshot killed his fucking ass. Look at that, another AK, bro. Hit him headshot. Not even close. Bro, where the fuck are you, bro? What the fuck? Got you, pussy. Oh, get out of here! We decided to upgrade our base, hoping we'd get more attention because we really wanted an online raid to finish our wipe. How do we get into this thing? Crawl underneath? Yeah. And give this a try. <laughs> I like that. That priority. Have you done this jump? Is this possible? Oh yeah, it's easy, easy, baby. There we go. I even went as far as hooking up a SAM site. If we happen to take out a Zerg with it, surely they'll come back looking for revenge. <laughs> yeah, enable defender mode, make the SAM only target MLRS rockets, so not helicopters. <laughs> Said no one ever. While waiting for that to happen, we seen the heli and wanted to take it for ourselves. We don't want it down near fishing village, we want to come more this way. Fuck, we gotta go. Oh, we can't get out, I don't think. Fucking jump anyway. Can't. I'm gonna be dead to the fire. I'm dead. No. This guy once. And him again. He bled out. Shit. I'm trying to leave, I got rocket C4 crates. Do you? Yeah, I'm bleeding out though. Um, I got 10 bleed, 8 health. I'm down. He shot me. And I'm on bag timer. Dude, I found a sleeper guy here with Volti and shit on him. Someone's sleeping here. He's sleeping, yeah, do you see? Killed his fucking out. Why well, I just shouldn't have killed him, now he's floating up. It's crazy that guy was down here sleeping, bro. What the hell?
That guy's shooting at me through railing, by the way. It's full bunch either. That's wild, dude. Yeah, he's so cheating, bro. That's wild. That's so crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one. Until then, you can check out one of the videos on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.